Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And guys, today I want to do another small 25 XRP giveaway and I'm actually thinking about making this a daily thing. Now, if you want to enter, that's actually really, really simple. Just join the Discord. That's it. Link is in the description below. Just join it really quickly and say something in there. You automatically enter. If we had a thousand likes, we're giving that away today. And uh, I'm also thinking about just making this a normal daily thing. You guys got to let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that. My big question of today is what do you think about CBDCs? All right. Have you thought about them? Yes or no? Comment it down below. I want to know from you guys. But let's get into today's video. So let's start it off with the tweet that inspired me to talk about this today from Galgatron intellectual awesome cbs which are central banks around the world are going to push for central bank digital currencies in the coming years xrp will bridge them all so this basically says an intellectual or somebody with knowledge on this subject knows that all right central banks are going to push cbdc's and xrp will bridge everything in his words, a moron or somebody who's not educated on this exact subject will say, well, CBDCs are coming, that part is true, but they're going to be removing the use case for XRP. And I like this debate, I like this discussion, all right, because I think that a lot of people are of the latter opinion. Of course, the former as well, but a lot of them are of the latter opinion. And the theory that supports that is that, all right, I've explained this in a couple of videos before, but, but hear me out here. Let's imagine two countries. Uh, one of them is Mexico, and one of them is a very small country with a very small currency. Let's just pick a miscellaneous one that does not exist. Let's pick Galgatron dollars. So that's a, a, a country with, for example, a thousand people or a thousand people who use this currency. That's not a lot. What are the chances of Mexico having a pair with this Galgatron dollar? Well, those chances are rather small. What are the chances of this Galgatron dollar being connected to the US dollar? Rather big, because otherwise they don't really, you most likely have either a Euro or a dollar pair. The chance of that happening is just really, really big. Otherwise your currency is basically nothing. All right, however, once we start to talk about, for example, somebody in Galgatron's country wanted to send some money home to Mexico, that's gonna be imp imp impossible to do directly. And thus, you're going to need an intermediary currency. Now, very often people say, yeah, these CBDCs, they, they're just going to replace the, the fiat currency or anything along those lines. So, you know, you don't need those, you know, the middle part anymore, things like that. How's, how does that work, guys? You still will need a bridge between them all. There's still this discrepancy here between one country and another. Because think about this. In an optimal world, all countries with their currency would just have direct connections but that is an optimal world which will most likely not be the case what we're wishing for here through xrp is just xrp to have a direct pair like the us dollar has with every single entity out there so there doesn't have to be any trust in the us dollar from any of these countries out there because right now one of the big issues that we see with the us is that their currency is quite unstable and I'm not saying volatile in the sense of like it goes up every couple of seconds because every currency does that. It's just the fact that people don't want to hold reserves in the dollar. Is there's a good chance of it becoming, you know, quote unquote, worthless rather soon. And people don't really want to have a pair with the dollar for the sense of or in the sake of they would rather have something that will stay for longer. Wow. Or they would rather just go for a route that will stay. Because making these corridors is not, you know, a, a one second thing. It takes some time to set everything up, especially once they start to deposit money in certain areas. And, and think about this one, guys. In the traditional system, if we're not talking about CBDCs, these guys, these, 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 for example, Galgatron currency guys, would have to have that other currency that they want, they would have to have a stash of that already. And the other way around, if they want to trade with Mexico, Mexico must have their currency already to be able to facilitate the swap. And maybe the pair is there, theoretically speaking, it could be, but then still the backing or the money behind it is not there. Now, of course, if we are talking about CBDCs, and I'm you know kind of 
flinching my fingers here to make bunny ears, if you guys get me. CBDCs, this whole backing nostril vostra system might not necessarily be, be in place anymore, but still the idea of going from one currency to another and you still need the intermediary asset, that, that will stay. All right, so the, the, the thought of CBDCs removing the use case for XRP, I, I don't really see that happening. All right, the only thing you can just kind of talk about is central bank digital currencies taking over central bank normal currencies, which are basically just fiat. Because if you think about it, all fiat is is just uh, a central bank thought of monetary value system. That's that's basically all it is. It's just a central bank currency without the uh, digital inside of there. And they're going to be taking over that. However, how much it will use XRP will most likely stay the same. And thus, we should not be worried about that. That's just my idea. However, that's just one part of the story, right? That's just one part. Because I think most people are also onto the idea that this is the truth. I mean, look at the amount of likes this just got by XRP Chiz. Now, do you see why Ripple has been working with, uh, working very closely with central banks? So XRP can bridge all the money. And that's one thing I think people are forgetting as well, which is why I said it's one part of the deal. It's like, there is not just the idea that XRP, XRP can be used for these types of things. It's already been set in motion. And we're seeing that uh, a good chunk in the regulations that are being built and more so in the partnerships and the attendings, if that's a word even, again, not a native English speaker, that Ripple has gone for, has done. Ripple has been in so many meetings, I, I can't even count them, I can't even put them down on a list with important regulators or important key figures. We know for a fact, Christine Lagarde and a lot of other guys at the ECB and a lot of these IMF and, and things like that that matter have explained to us the way we have sis the payments right now, this system ain't gonna work. What's Ripple Solution? The Internet of Value. A lot of them have explained eventually payments will be free, it will be the normal standard. What's Ripple's core value? I guess making payments more accessible and moving payments like information is done today, which is the Internet of Value, which is what Ripple is trying to create. What is also quite clear is that there's right now not a very clear regulatory framework for all these crypto and fintech uh, moves. However, it is being built piece by piece. And who is building that? Well, of course, regulators are, and I guess these other guys, but also Ripple. Ripple is a very key part of that. The US and a lot of other countries are working on CBDCs, but what party is also, again, I'm talking about a, 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 a company, like what, what type of parties all have a say in this? You might not understand, but I'm saying that Ripple most likely has quite a lot of say in this whole CBDC for America. Yep, I'm saying it out loud right now, right there. Is this fact? No. Is this a, a you know a well-based piece of speculation? Yes. The reason I'm saying this and putting it out there is because I have grown to the idea that a lot is not being told to us. All right, I think a lot of you guys agree with me there. A lot is not being told. But I have seen so many times that Ripple is sitting there with some of these most important key figures. And I, I find it kind of crazy how it's going so ridiculously slow. Right? You must also understand, David Swartz, the CTO over at Ripple, he's known about these distributed systems for, let's see here, 30 years, right? It's 1989 to 1992 is when he published a couple, or at least a paper or a patent on these distributed systems. Don't you guys think he is one of those guys that's just at an upper class, just a point of where, where, where like most of the people could never get to, like he's ascended sort of, don't you think he, they would also try to get in touch with him to see his opinion on these things? That's just what I'm guessing here, you know? Ripple is a lot more than just a financial company. It's a lot more than just a payment processor or like some people like to call it. It's in reality, it's a, it's a payment framework. So it's basically at the bottom of everything, but it's also basically busy with revolutionizing payments for this whole world is changing the way that people view value over the internet and it's changing the way that people are going to live their lives from a financial perspective now a little bit later i want to dive more into financial literacy i have a couple of articles on you know <laughs> on uh on, on the current state of affairs in, in that regard but here's another thing i just like to show you guys let's uh, pause the advertisements on here the eu announced its first ever plan to regulate crypto how can we know who's involved with this? Hmm. Honestly, I don't really know. Because 
if you start to think about it, the ECB must be involved, right? Because, well, it's the European Central Bank. They're busy with a with a central bank digital currency, often mixed up with cryptocurrency. So, you know, if they wanted to build something, they, they could not be hindered by the EU themselves, if you guys get me, right? Because the ECB is kind of what keeps the whole EU in, in play. Again, we can kind of have the debate about what the ECB really does and if it's really useful and they should, you know, let, let banks fail, but that's not a topic for today. The topic for today is the fact that these CBDCs will make the system, or at least these central authorities like central banks, will make the systems where it's perfectly good for their crypto. And how can it be perfectly good for their crypto? If all the roads that have been planned for years now, because they, they don't they don't think about these things like one, two, three. They they think about them for years and they start to build them slowly. Is that if all this this these years of planned work, you know, fits exactly into the policy. What I'm thinking here is the EU, the US, and and a couple of guys in Asia, they already have a lot of plans set in place. And they're gonna build the regulations surrounding that. Because I don't think they would change their CBDC for for anything, because I, I think that would really hurt their position, especially in the U.S. right now. They want to get it out as soon as possible. Um, the regulatory things are most likely going to be in their favor instead of their, their negative side. And what I also think is that since XRP has kind of kind of placed themselves in a position where it's, it's like not necessarily, but it's almost guaranteed to become the the, the, um, the middleman, so to speak. I'm, I'm thinking that XRP has already gotten themselves into such a position where these regulatory things will be built around them, where it will not hurt XRP because they would have probably known it by, for a long time by now, right? They've been talking about these with these regulators for years. They would have known a couple of years ago that there's a chance that their system might fail, the chance that their system that they're placing and building here would not work. Now, is this Ripple's main priority? Becoming the central bank digital currency payment provider type of scenario thing that I'm talking about here? Maybe not. It is really not meant to be the bridge of all. Could it be? Yeah. Will everything be built around it? I'm guessing so. Right. I'm really kind of convinced that it will be. Otherwise, yeah. There's just there's just a, a lot that needs to be changed within a very short amount of time here, and I I, I don't know if I like those odds. I don't I don't I don't really see that happening. But again, it's just a theory. Tal Rutter just posted on Twitter earlier today. Level the playing field with XRP, or shall we call it? Mark Carney's synthetic hegemonic currency. I think about these things a lot, guys. I think about these things a very, very lot. And the main reason for that is we have so much uncertainty right now because we don't know what the world exactly is going through. Yet we have one piece of certainty, and that is that XRP is changing the space. Now, what are the connections with some of the bigger guys? We don't know. We can debate, but we don't know. However, it's, it's so interesting, all right? It's so interesting how these systems people predicted hundreds of years ago and I guess decades ago and a couple of years ago, they're slowly start to fall in place. And a lot of these pandemic, quote unquote, pandemic situations, they're also falling in place. The fact that the main currency, the um, central, no, what's it called now? The world reserve currency, yes, have, will be shifting again after a big pandemic, so to speak, again, Pull up that chart for yourself right now. Whenever the world reserve currency switched, it was on average about 95 years. Right now, we have had this currency for 100 years. Think about this one. Every time the world reserve currency shifted, it was because of a big global situation. Right now, that is most likely the CV, if you guys know what I mean that's going on right now, that's shifting this global currency again to another one. Will they try to stop it? Definitely so. Will they be able to? Well, that is to be seen. That is to be determined. I cannot tell you because I do not know. What I do know, though, is that there's a lot of guys who know more than they tell. And there's a lot more guys who know about the system that's being built uh, that, that, that that's not like public information yet. And I got a couple other articles here, which I want to briefly get into. VeChain adopts Coinbase standard to increase blockchain interoperability. Very freaking cool. I talked about it on 5-Minute Crypto, my second crypto channel. Make sure you check it out, though, guys. A link is in the description below. Yeah, I think it just says five minute crypto or something like that link is in the description check it out also guys as i just said but i'll tell again make sure you go ahead and check out discord a link is in the description below and another article here was one that i found very very interesting and it's a bit of a warning this entrepreneur was sim swapped so often he started a company to fight it and he was sim swapped like tons of times before and he has now made his own cell service company and that got me thinking 
how shitty would it be to get sim swapped? I'm just thinking about that. I've never had it happen. I don't think it would really uh, happen that easily if you're from different countries and you don't really use phone verifications for things, but you use different things. But the idea is there, you know, what, 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 what could you do to prevent sim swapping? Let me know in the comments section down below. What could you do to, to, to do against it? I just think it's very important to hide your number in that in that regard or hide your multiple numbers, have multiple SIM cards for different things and really try to use apps and, and just heavy passwords instead of, I guess, relying on a cell service. But whatever, that's just my idea. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video.